Hey guys, Capper here, and welcome back to another uh, mini farm vlog episode here. But if you remember a few months back, I traded a ham radio for this 30 foot boom sprayer plus a cutting torch setup. So this thing had been sitting outside for a number of years, um, but it was left in working condition. So let me just walk you through how it worked and the little repairs that I had to make and still have to make, but let's see how the first use works. What I'm spraying here is an area that we planted in uh, native warm season grasses. We frost seeded it. And so we have to spray to kill off the invasive weeds so that the native grass can get established. And then I also hit a couple spots where I'm gonna put uh, corn and beans, but really most of this was just to help the native grasses get it reestablished in this particular area that used to be a farm field. So let's see how it went. Okay, I'm filling up this beast of a sprayer. The quick attach did not work. So I got an old school, just the old three point hookups. Um, this hydraulic top link is gonna come in handy. Got all the hoses hooked up. This is the uh, PTO pump right there. I've got that chained up with the secure chain that's supposed to keep it on. Got it snugged up on the shaft there, so we'll see if this thing blows up, blows off of there, or works like it should. I've been dreading this, honestly. This is just one of them jobs that I'm just really not looking forward to, especially with a, with a sprayer like this. Um, but we'll see if it tests out good here I'll feel a lot better all right we're almost up and running fixing a few leaks here and there like that one that one needs to be cleaned out but we're almost ready, man. It's too windy today, but I'll be glad just to have it ready. Okay, that hydraulic top link is really coming in handy. Um, just to level this thing out so I can figure out how much water I need to mix uh, my herbicides. Otherwise, it's sitting cockeyed one way or the other. So that's really nice. All right, not sure if you could tell, but this side is uh, lower than the opposite side. The uh, pressure gauge is not working, which is not a giant, huge deal, but I'll probably replace it. But uh, so far, so good on the first run, but I definitely need to adjust it. And here, I got myself stuck in between these two power poles, and I was trying to turn around, so I finally gave up. I went out and folded that boom in. I was trying to avoid getting in and out of the tractor, but I was able to get myself out of there. All right, so here you could see the uh, white pine planting area as well as loblollies in here. I did spray this hillside before I planted um, these trees, try and give them a head start against the weed competition here. And here's a couple of uh, big gobblers that have been hanging around. I'm supposed to go turkey hunting here tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But this is really nice, this boom here. You just reach inside. You reach from the inside of the tractor and you turn it and you can control it from the entire boom or just the left side or just the right side or the middle and the left or the middle and the right. So it's pretty slick that way. All right, it's important to clean these out after every use. No matter what kind of sprayer tank you got with water. So I'm putting water back in and I'm spraying through all the nozzles because that uh, the, the chemicals gum up in there and they gum everything up in there. Ask me how I know someday. 
It's a lot easier if you just run a bunch of water through it after every use. You know, then you could store it. And then those nozzles have to be cleaned out after every single use. The screens. 